Welcome back. And now look at the other happenings around the state. India's leading vocational education and training institute has set up its base in Goa. IIJT, Indian Institute of Job Training, provides youth with job facilities in and around India. We are trying to tell people that it is not only education. There are, we work, uh, our vision is putting India to work. It is, we work on three E's, that is employability, make them employable, education and employment, which is the last, that is the requirement that we put in people for employment. Rotary Club has organized two months long computer training program for underprivileged people. This program will commence from 22nd July in Panji and will provide basic knowledge of computer to be self-competent. Regular, well-designed course is a must. I think if uh, people know computer, uh, this is not for employment only. If they know the computer quite well, I think they can use internet and other facilities to earn money out of it. Meritorious students of Mormugam were felicitated by the Murgaon Senior Drama Literature Artists Association. Bureau report prudent. South Goa MP Francisco Sardina has once again come out strongly against his own central government. He took a contrary stand to that of the UPA government and supported five hours of school education. Sardina further said that government guidelines about sand extra extraction areas are still not clear to the people. He has assured extra train boogies for the pilgrims travelling from Goa to Wailankini. These five hours are more than enough. He also said state government should start legal mining at the earliest. You see, wherever you smell that they have done illegal, you keep that aside. But where there is no illegality, you impress upon the Supreme Court, this committee, Shah report, whatever other committee that is there, that mining has to be resumed as early as possible. He criticized the state government on regional plan. 16 months have passed for this government. You either accept the old regional plan or you send this plan back to the public so that as early as possible, you come with a new regional plan. Sardinia said government should make rules clear about sand mining. He says ministry should come out with a clear rule informing the areas where sand extraction is allowed. And people also in the south, all along the river, they should be shown where they can extract because people cannot do without sand. He has assured extra boogies for the pilgrims to Wellingtony from Goa. I want to make sure that on 27th or so, there'll be in that train that goes, there'll be extra bogies so that all the devotees of Valankini, Our Lady of Valankini, will get chance to go to Valankini. Senior video journalist Tulsida Chari for Prudent. The All India Football Federation needs to remodel the I League, but not in the manner the AIFF is trying to do it, says former GFA Secretary Savio Messias. Messias is also against the steep player registration fees which are being levied in the absence of a uniform tracking mechanism across the country. With me now is the uh, former Secretary of the Goa Football Association and a uh, man who uh, was also considered uh, quite close to becoming uh, the Secretary of the All India Football Federation a couple of years ago, uh, Savio Messias. The way the things are panning out in Indian football, it looks like to be a, a mockery of some sorts uh, at present. So what's your reading about the situation uh, now in Indian football? Well, there have been two major issues uh, recently. One is the, the fight between the clubs and the federation with regard to the I-League and the so-called uh, league which they are about to promote. Well, my simple reply to that is, the I-League is about 16 years old. It's been getting from bad to worse. It's reached a stage now where, where not even 100 people buy tickets to watch a match. Now here I would blame both the stakeholders, the federation as well as the clubs. So what does a sponsor do? The sponsor needs to repackage and sell the, sell the, uh, the league to a, and earn some money. So he decides to repackage the league and have it differently. Well, I don't fully agree with, with the idea, but finally, the bottom line is they need to make money and they need to be a, success, a successful uh, league. The second issue which 
which we have been for tackling recently is the registration fees which the AIFF has uh, levied. Now that's very very steep. It's very steep in the first place. The second place, not many associations in Goa in India besides GFA and IFA and WIFA probably and another one or two more have an office and have a registration system. Most of the states don't even have an office. So until and unless the states pull up their socks and, ha and have an office and have an administration system, then only you can start a registering of players. Otherwise you'll have just four or six states registering the players and the rest of the states will have nothing to do. If you missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at the rate Prudent Goa or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. With this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent. Goodbye. You are watching Prudent.